evening. Good evening, everybody. So good evening, allers. Let's begin with a prayer. Lasst uns mit Gebet anfangen. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask for your blessing now during this worship service. Please uh, bless Brother Lawrence and give him wisdom for all that he's going to bring. And please help that our uh, brothers and sisters can be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so yesterday we looked at this cloud of angels. So gestern haben wir diese Wolke von Engeln angeschaut. And we will continue with this. Und mit diesem Thema werden wir jetzt fortfahren. And we saw in Ezekiel chapter 1. Right? Wir haben im Hesekiel Kapitel 1. Uh, so we understand at the beginning he sees this, this cloud. And out of this cloud come these four children. Right? So, in Hesekiel Kapitel 1, er sieht diese Wolke und aus dieser Wolke kommt diesen vier Cherubim. And we saw that the clouds, they are basically um, these angels, right? Und wir haben gesehen, dass diese Wolke diese Engel sind. Okay. And also, uh, the cloud was also connected with the, the rain. Right? Und die Wolke war auch in Verbindung mit das Regen. So the angels they bring the, the rain, the oil to us. So die Engel, die bringen das Regen und das Öl zu uns. Okay. And we also saw that basically when we go to Leviticus 16. Wir haben auch weiter gesehen, zum Beispiel wenn wir jetzt zu dritte Buch Mose 16 gehen. Die Verse 12 und 13. This was when Aaron went into the most holy place on the day of atonement. Hier am Versöhnungstag ist wo Aaron in das Allerheiligste ging. Uh, when he went into the presence of God. Als er in die Gegenwart Gottes eintrat. Says, and he shall take a censer full of burning coals of fire from off the altar before the Lord, and his hand full of sweet incense beaten small and bring it within the veil. And he shall put the incense upon the fire before the Lord, that the cloud of the incense may cover the mercy seat that is upon the testimony that he die not. So, what covered God's presence? So, was hat den Gegenwart Gottes bedeckt? Yes, this cloud of incense, right? Diese Wolke von Weihung. So, we saw basically that God's glory needs to be covered by this cloud in order for us to bear it. So, wir haben gesehen, dass Gottes Herrlichkeit von dieser Wolke bedeckt werden muss, so dass wir es seine Gegenwart ertragen können. Okay, and then we also uh, looked at um, uh, Revelation chapter 4, we can go there quickly. Dann hatten wir auch Offenbarung 4 angeschaut, da können wir auch jetzt wieder hin. Revelation 4. Offenbarung 4. Let's read verses 1 to 4, and uh, Mark, you can read this, please. And we'll read the verses 1 to 4. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon, like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. 
And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Yes, so uh, what can we see here again? So what can we see here? You can see the, the throne, right? And so it's the throne. And around the throne, who seated there? And on the throne, who was there? Yes, 24 elders. Right? And they were also sitting on thrones. And they were also sitting on thrones. So, 24 elders. 24 elders. And uh, when we go to Revelation 5, Und jetzt in Offenbarung 5. Uh, this is now when John wept because nobody could open the book. Hier the ist of the Stelle, wo uh, hat, weil keine war, das Buch zu öffnen. It says in verse 4 and 5. Vers 4 und 5. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. So, who came to John to basically give him comfort? So, where came to Johannes from him to trust? One of the elders, right? The eldest. And yesterday we read this quote, it's also now on the live stream. Before. Gestern haben wir diese Zitat gelesen, was ist auch jetzt in den Livestream wieder. It's, it's uh, uh, last two quotes here, one in German, one in English. Die letzten beiden Zitate hier, der eine in Deutsch, der andere in Englisch, diese 20 MR. And just read here in the, in the middle, the, the lower middle. Also in der unterste Hälfte, in der Mitte fängt es an. It says, his soul was wrought up to such a point of agony and suspense that one of the strong angels had compassion on him and laying his hand on him assuringly said, weep not. Behold the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Uh, so therefore we can see these 24 elders are angels, right? So here is this an angel that came on Johannes to trösten, and so here can we see these 24 eldesten sind auch Engel. But we understand that 24 elders are the redeemed ones. Aber wir verstehen auch die 24 ältesten sind die uh, erlösten. And we read that Jesus said we will be made like unto angels. Right? Und wir haben ge gelesen, dass Jesus gesagt haben, dass wir werden wie Engel werden. Uh, because Gabriel is an angel. Right? Gabriel, der ist ein Engel. But it's Moses and Elijah. Aber yeah. das ist Mose und Elia. Okay. So, and therefore, when these 24 elders are now around the throne, so deswegen, wenn diese 24 Ältesten um den Thron herum sind, who are they? Wer sind sie? Gabriel. Oh, they're angels. So. Uh, what do they do? Well, what covered again the glory of God? So, what had the Herrlichkeit des Herrn bedeckt? Yes, this cloud, right? This is Wolke. So it's this, this cloud of angels around the throne. Diese Wolke von Engeln, die den Thron umgeben. But on the throne itself. Aber auf dem Thron selbst. And when you all, uh, when we read now verse six. Wenn wir jetzt Vers sechs lesen. In Revelation four. In Kapitel vier. Says. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four, be four beasts full of eyes before and behind. So even here, uh, these are these covering cherubs also. Right? So selbst here, die sind diese schirmende Cherubim auch noch. So basically you have like an outer circle and then even a closer circle. Also, du hast einen Kreis um die Herrlichkeit Gottes und dann einen noch engeren Kreis um Gottes Thron. Okay, so this is this, this cloud. Und das ist diese Wolke. Amen? Amen? Yes? Okay, so, and they cover now the glory of God. Und die schirmen oder decken die Herrlichkeit des Herrn ab. Like, and obviously also the cherubims. Do the same thing. Okay. Und die Cherubim um den Thron tun dasselbe. Okay. And we also read what else covered up the glory of God. Und wir haben auch weitergelesen, was ist es, was noch die Herrlichkeit des Herrn zudeckt? Yeah. Okay. Yes, the veil. Okay. Right? Den Schleier. Uh, let's remind ourselves, let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 3. Das ist in 2. Korinther, Kapitel 3. Uh, 
as in, in verse 7, he speaks about the Old Testament, that it was already glorious. So in Vers 7 spricht er über den alten Bund, der bereits herrlich war. But then in um, verse 8 it says, How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? Aber dann in Vers 8 sagt es, For if the ministration of condemnation, that's the Old Testament, be glory, much more does the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. So, uh, you have this, this glory of God here. Right? So, spricht hier über die Herrlichkeit des Herrn. And now let's read verse 12 and onward. Und jetzt Vers 12 und dann weiter. Seeing then we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech, and not as Moses which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth, the same veil is uh, same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Okay, so it's... See, we can see here that there's this veil over our heart. So we can see that it's this schleier over our hearts. And this veil is the glory of God. Right? This schleier is the heiligkeit of God. Okay. So, and what did we see? What what is it that uh, veils the glory of God? And what have we seen? What is this? What Hüllt die Herrlichkeit des Herrn. Just one question. If you say the veil is the glory of God, yes, the veil is the glory of God. No, the veil is the glory of God. Veil is the glory of God. Okay. And eines haben wir studiert wieder. Also der Schleier, Schleier, also verhüllt die Herrlichkeit des Herrn. So and what takes away the veil? Und was ist es, was den Schleier wegnimmt? Let's go to Isaiah forty-two. Jesaja 42. Let's have it there. Verse 16. Nevertheless, when it shall come to the Lord, the yes. veil shall be taken away. Yes. So that's what happened in Isaiah. One minute it's there, the next minute it was gone. Yes. Uh, Isaiah 44, sorry. Also Jesaja 44. So when you're basically when you're ready, you can take it away. Until you're ready, you can't take it away. Yes. Let's go to verse 22. Verse 22. Let's read verse 22. Uh, Marius, you want to read this first, please? Say 44, verse 22. I have brought it out as a thick cloud that transgressions and as a cloud that sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Yes. Okay. So. When he blots out your sin, what is removed? Also, wenn er deine Sünden austilgt, was wird entfernt? Yes, this, this cloud, right? Also diese Wolke. So, we can see basically... The thick cloud means he can now see God. Yes, yeah, this cloud is now removed. So, diese Wolke ist jetzt entfernt. Yeah, so, it's this thick cloud of sins, but also it's this cloud of angels that surround God's glory. Es ist okay. diese dichte Wolke deiner Sünden, aber es ist auch diese Engeln, die Gottes Herrlichkeit verhüllen. So now you can see God's glory once this, this cloud is taken away. So okay. jetzt kannst du die Herrlichkeit des Herrn sehen, wenn diese Wolke entfernt wird. And it's right here when he says it is done. Right? Und es ist gerade hier, wo er sagt, es ist getan. Because it is done, it is finished. Es ist getan, es ist vollbracht. Es ist das selbe. Zweiter Korinther 3, Paulus spricht über das Alter und neuen Bund. Yes. In Vers 6 sagt er, For also made us able ministers of the new covenant, not of the letter, but of the spirit, for the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. So, wir sehen dass wir das der, aber die ministers of the new covenant, and the spirit gives life, right? It says, Sagt, die sind Diener des neuen Bundes und der Geist gibt Leben. Und Vers 17 sagt, Now the Lord is the Spirit. 
where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Vers 17, der Herr ist diese Geist, wo diese Geist ist, ist Freiheit. And so this is basically the freedom of the captivity, right, where you receive the rep rep reparations. Right. So this is the Freiheit von Gefangenschaft, wo du diese um, reparations? Reparatur. Reparaturanzahlung bekommst. Und das ist der Schleier im Grunde, die entfernt wird. Also diese Wiedergutmachung ist das Entfernen der Schleier. Yes, okay. Uh, just to add to Führer's thought, keep your finger here in 2 Corinthians 3. Also haltet den Platz in 2 Korinther 3. Let's go to Joel chapter 2. Lasst uns zu Joel Kapitel 2 gehen. I just have a question. Uh, and Isaiah. Mm -hmm. So we know we know Isaiah when this takes place is on the day of atonement, right? It says so. Mm -hmm. As soon as it's removed, then that's marking the point where your your sins get blotted out, right? But can Isaiah well infer that it's done beforehand? Yes. So, so is this? I always I always want, sort of struggle with this. Is this? Holy, holy, right at the end there, where these sins are getting blotted out, or is it marking this period of time? We all struggle with this. Yes, in, uh, yes uh, we will come to this. In, uh, okay. uh, so let's go first to Joel chapter 2. So let's answer as you are, chapter 2 again. Because uh, Fyodor mentioned this uh, reparations. Right. In when when we, you you are set free. When you free gelassen wirst. So we, we looked at this. This is the U.S. Civil War. So we have that bereits angeschaut. Das ist der U.S. Bürgerkrieg. And here it ends, and you know, get reparations, but right? you're set free. Hier geht der Bürgerkrieg zu Ende, und hier erhältst du diese Reparaturzahlung. So in the practical the same principle applies here in. So in dieser unteren Fraktal dieselben Prinzipien sind hier anzuwenden. Hier am Ende wirst du freigesetzt. Okay, you receive now this these reparations. Und du erhältst diese Wiedergutmachung, diese Reparaturzahl. Okay, and when you go to Joel chapter two. Joel Kapitel zwei. It says here, verse seventeen. Vers siebzehn. It says, let the minister, let the priest. The ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, "Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them." Wherefore should they say among thy people, "Where is their God?" So where does this take place? Where must you weep between the porch and the altar? So wo musst du heulen zwischen der Säulenhalle und und Altar? Yes, an der Versöhnungstag. So. It's it's this work here where you must humble yourself and afflict your soul. Das ist dieses Werk in dieser Zeit, wo du dich peinigen musst und deine Seele ja peinigen musst. That's also Ezekiel chapter nine, where you weep and lament for all the abominations that are done in the land. Das ist auch Ezekiel neun, wo du klagst und heulst für die Gräueltaten, die im Lande stattfinden. Is this weeping here? And then it says in verse 18. Then in verse 18, it says, "Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. But I will remove far off from you the northern army." So it's right here. Uh, where he takes away the northern army. Right? Here, wo er den Nord army entfernt. And because who is departing here? Then wer um, weicht hier ab? Wer geht weg? Yes, the king Cestius, the right? Könige, Cestius. So the northern army departs. Das now. Nord army geht vorerst weg. And what does he do there? Und was tut er da? Verse, Verse 25. Yes. Vers 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Okay, so right here, 
He gives you reparations. So gerade hier er stellt wieder her, also er gibt diese Reparatur. So all those things that these four beasts devoured in here. So all diese Dinge, was diese vier Tiere hierin verzehrt haben. No, these four insects. Diese vier Insekten. Yeah, he will restore to you here. Er wird hier wieder herstellen. Restoration. The north is against reparation. They're both against reparations. No, no, but the North is the one that prevents it. The South is sort of like pretending that they want reparations, right? It, no, no, not always. No, 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 you no, have several wars. In, 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 in our time. In our time. Yes, yes. Because if you look at the South, in our time, in our time, the North is that what against these reparations stands, and the South seems to be the one who is responsible for it. Gar nicht sein mag. Die scheinen jedenfalls dafür in. They openly they say we want reparations, but the North says no. Also die verkünden öffentlich, dass die wollen, die wollen Reparaturanzahlungen haben für Black Lives Matter und die Schwarzen und so weiter. Aber die Norden sagen dazu nein. But when we go look at the story of the children of Jews in Egypt, it was failed. Yeah. Right. No, he, he didn't want to give them it. I, I'm not arguing that point. Also wenn du in die Zeiten von die Kinder in den Gefangenschaft von Israel sind. Es war Pharao, der keine Reparaturanzahlung geben wollte und Pharao ist der König des Südens. In der Sonntagsgesetzkrise ist es der Nord, der unterdrückt und die Süden stehen dagegen auf. Also es ist Satan, der nichts will, dass wir diese Reparaturzahlungen bekommen. Aber wie Bruder Fjodor sagt, Satan nutzt der eine, also der Südmacht gegen der Nord. Ja, also, was ist das Recht, die Freunde von mir da geht? Nein, es ist nur gesagt, dass ich in diesem Kapitel gesagt habe, dass ich die Nord die Nordarmee entferne. Also in diesem Kapitel sagt es, dass er die Nordarmee entfernen wird. In der Sinelokreis, der Nord ist der, der die Oppressen hat. Und in der Sonntagsgesetzkrise ist es der Nordarmee, ist derjenige, der Satan benutzt, um uns zu unterdrücken. Gerade jetzt, der Nord scheint so diese unterdrückende Macht zu sein, die Süden scheinen, als wenn sie diese befreien werden. Let's go to Jeremiah 37. Lass uns zu Jeremia äh, 37 gehen. Is that not the other one? No. No, but just because the US Civil War is at the other end. You can't take it away. It's teaching you something, right? So let's go to Jeremiah 37. Let's read verse 5. So Jeremiah 37, verse 5. It says, Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt, And when the, when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Okay, so here we see basically Nebuchadnezzar is Cestius, right? So here can we say Nebuchadnezzar is Cestius. And he besieges Jerusalem, but who comes up against him? And he belagert Jerusalem, but who comes up against him? No. The south. Pharaoh's army, right? So, Pharaoh's army, the south. Okay, so right here, they come now in the north, haste the way. So, gerade hier kommen sie an und das Nordarmee eilt weg. So, this is now basically when you're set free for for this little time of peace here. Hier ist der Moment, wo du freigesetzt wirst für diese kleine Zeit des Friedens. But what does Jeremiah say? Aber was sagt Jeremia? Verse eight. Verse eight. And the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against the city and take it and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, deceive not yourself, saying the Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. And so, so we understand Titus comes back. So we understand that although Cestius here flüchtet, Titus comes wieder. Same as Pharaoh. The same as Pharaoh. Same as Pharaoh. Because they have this illustration that at the end of the U.S. Civil War, this illustration at the end of the U.S. Civil War. So, Brother Mark wants to now speak about here the 400 years. So, Brother Mark wants to speak about 400 years. Okay, so at the end of 400 years, what happened to the Hebrews? So, at the end of 400 years, what happened to the Hebrews? Set free. So, Pharaoh 
let them go. So Pharaoh haben sie frei, hat sie freigelassen. No, Pharaoh lets you go, but then he repents and he comes after you. Also Pharaoh lässt sie gehen, aber dann um, geht er um seine Entscheidung zurück und kommt hin, nach hinterher. Das markiert diese Krise, wo er dich umlagert und das ist der Überquerung des Roten Meeres. But if you go to the US Civil War, Aber zum US-Bürgerkrieg, am Ende von US-Bürgerkrieg, der Norden, which was Lincoln, der Abraham Lincoln war, Republicanism, also die Republikaner, die geben ihnen 40 acres and a mule. Also die geben diese Reparaturleistung zu den Familien der Sklaven, also diese 40 Acker und ein Esel. But Lincoln gets assassinated and he's replaced by uh, Johnson. Aber Lincoln, der wird uh, umgebracht und seine uh, Nachfolger ist Johnson. Who's a Democrat. Und er ist ein Demokrat. And he reverses the order. Und er kehrt diese Befehl von Lincoln wieder um. So you can see You've got to, got to, you can't take one sin of the Savior and make it manifest another. Yes, that's teaching it. two things. And they were taking away the yeah, they, yes. acres. Yeah, they settled along the Mississippi. Well, they and just they reversed it. Nobody, nobody else was getting it. Yeah, and there was. Not, they took it off them. Right? There was some that settled along the Mississippi, right? But nobody else. Some had taken it upon themselves to take this land for themselves. But before they actually received. The reparations, apart from those that took it upon themselves, he reversed it, so nobody else got it. So. Yes. yes, so we definitely can see right, that this will be reversed then here, or this will be reversed So, auf jeden Fall können wir sehen, dass das, was hier stattfindet, wird hier, um, was heißt reversed? Umgekehrt. Umgekehrt hier, und was hier stattfindet, wird hier umgekehrt. Mm -hmm. Ist wie, wie Trump auch, der gesagt hat, ich will meine Reisebahn haben. Die haben gesagt, nein, aber der hat es dennoch bekommen. Yes. Okay, so we can see therefore that here you get definitely restored, right? Reparations, restorations. So wir können sehen, dass hier auf jeden Fall werden wir wiederhergestellt. Es wird diese Reparatur, Reparaturen she's, gegeben. She's Ellen White sagt, es ist nur eine scheinbare um, Zeit des Friedens und das ist diese Schlüssel, <coughs> scheinbar. So, and therefore, uh, but the four insects, what do they devour? Aber diese vier Insekten, was verzehren sie? All the corn, Wein and the corn and the oil. Yes, the fruits. so and what is this illustrating? Also das Wein und Korn und Öl und so weiter, was steht das da? These what the fowls that steal the truth. Yes. Also right. diese, diese Raubvogel, die den Wahrheit stehlen. So it's basically when he restores you here, he will also restore you physically, but he, but he gives you especially the spiritual truths, right? Genau. Also wenn der wenn wiederhergestellt wird hier, also es wird auch physische Sachen sein, aber ganz besonders ist es eine Offenbarung der Wahrheit. So that's this revelation where he will, because receiving the revelation of God is the greatest. Reparation you can ever receive. Okay. Denn, ja, eine Offenbarung des Herrn zu erhalten, also das ist das größte Wiedergutmachung, die wir erhalten konnten. Mm -hmm. This reparation is the greatest thing. Yes, yes, yes. Also die des Herzens, also diese Reparatur oder <laughs> Zurechtmachung It's unseres the, Herzens. Same in Matthew 24, he says, I shall give unto you all my goods, right? Yes. Also in Matthäus 24, der Herr sagt, ich werde all meine Güter an euch geben. Yes. So now let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Lass uns zurück zu 2. Korinther 3 gehen. Because we read about this veil that needs to be taken away. Denn wir haben hier über diesen Schleier, die entfernt werden müssen, gelesen. Uh, and we saw that basically uh, this veil, uh, because this veil in the sanctuary It was also covering the glory of God. Right? Wir haben gesehen, dass diese Schleier, diese Schleier in den Heiligtum, hat auch die Herrlichkeit des Herrn geschirmt. And what was, what was depicted on this veil again? Und was war auf diesem Schleier abgebildet? Yes, the cherubim. Diese right? cherubim. So it just shows the same truth that you have this cloud of angels 
veiling the glory of God. Es ist wieder, äh, es zeigt dasselbe Wahrheit, dass wir diese Wolke des, von Engeln, die, die Herrlichkeit des Herrn abschirmen. Aber, aber zur neunten Stunde am Kreuz, wo Jesus sagt, es ist vollbracht. Oh, it is finished, yes. What happened to the veil in the sanctuary? Was geschah mit diesem Vorhang in den Heiligtum? Got rent, right? Es war in zwei gerissen. So now the way into the holiest was open. No, you cannot see God's glory. Und dadurch okay. das Weg im Heiligtum war zu sehen, also du konntest die Herrlichkeit des Herrn sehen. So that's the revelation. Das ist der Offenbarung. Uh, the door been opened and not told to you. I've got a question to that because Yes. Um, I do know Ezekiel 1 and all, all, all these things, but when Ellen White speaks about when um, when the temple, when the veil in the temple was ripped, the priest who was about to slay the lamb that escaped, as when she's speaking about that, it was seen that the glory had departed. You know? yes. That's the literal temple. Well, that's the yes, the temple. Yes. temple. Yes. So there's no... The far from the literal, no, yes, no. No, the spiritual. Okay. Also so meine Frage war zur neunten Stunde am Kreuz, wenn Ellen White darüber spricht, in der buchstäblichen Tempel, als diesen Vorhang zerrissen worden ist, es sagt, dass die Herrlichkeit gewichen ist, es ist nicht mehr da. Aber das ist das Buchstäbliche, war der An Antwort darauf. Und es ist jetzt nicht mehr das Buchstäbliche, sondern das Geistliche. That's because when you go back to verse 7, Denn wenn wir zu Vers 7 zurückgehen, It speaks about the, the Old Testament, the literal here, right? Uh, spricht über das alte Bund, also das Buchstäbliche. So it says, but if the ministration of death, written in engraving stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. Okay, so right here, yeah, all the types are taken away. This glory is taken away, but now you receive this full so gerade hier glory. all diese Schatten und Typen, also so diese buchstäbliche Sachen sind entfernt, also diese Herrlichkeit in dem buchstäblichen Tempel war entfernt worden, aber jetzt diese Offenbarung der Herrlichkeit des Herrn im Herzen, also das Geistliche, das neue Wort. Okay, so, but let's go now to uh, verse um, 17 and 18. Aber jetzt gehen wir zu die Versen 17 und 18. Immer noch 2. Korinther 3. It says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. Okay, so what... Do we look, what do we need to look into? So, in was müssen wir hineinschauen? In order to see the glory of the Lord. Um die Herrlichkeit des Herrn sehen zu können? Okay. Yes, into the looking glass. Right? Also in diesen Spiegel, oder diesen Label, diesen and brasenen. Yes, we just keep, keep your finger here, let's go, remind ourselves, Exodus 38, I think it was. Haltet den Platz hier und geht zu 2. Buch Mose 38. Yes. Okay, so the the laver, the brazen laver was made out of this looking glasses. Okay. Also diese Waschbecken, diese bronzene Waschbecken war aus diesen Spiegeln so, gemacht worden. Uh, the laver therefore represents uh, what what is the looking glass you must look into? Was ist dieser um, Spiegel, in dem du hineinschauen musstest? Yes, it's the law, right? Es ist das Gesetz. So, therefore, the laver is the looking glass. So, then, uh, Waschbecken ist dieser Spiegel. Which is the law. Right? Was den Gesetz des Herrn ist. Also And what, what did the priest 
wash in this laver before they entered the sanctuary. And was had the priest in these washbecken gewaschen noch before in the heiligtum reingehen? Yes, the hands and the feet, right? The hands and his feet. Yes. Yes. We looked at this yesterday. Gestern haben wir das bereits angeschaut. Just keep a let's remind ourselves. Okay. Lasst uns uns daran erinnern. Let's go to James chapter four. Also Jakobus Kapitel vier. Let's read verse eight. Und Vers acht. Okay. Christian, you want to read this for us? James 4, verse 8. Jakobus 4, verse 8. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, the double-minded. Yes, okay. So here, we are to cleanse our hands. So here, we are to cleanse our hands. Right here, you are at the lake. Gerade hier, du bist an diesem Waschbecken. And he connects it with cleansing your heart, right? Here in the Bible, it's been verbunden with the reinigen deines Herzens. Yeah, but the, the hands is an illustration for what? Aber die Hände stellen was da? Yes. Die Taten. Yes. Let, let me pull up a Bible verse for this. Lass mich ein Bibelvers dafür finden. Um, Let's go to Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah. Let's okay. Let's just go to Jeremiah twenty-five, verse fourteen. Jeremiah twenty-five, verse fourteen. I mean, there are many verses. Also es gibt viele Versen, aber die dasselbe zeigen. Es heißt, For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also, and I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to the works of their own hands. Okay? So the hands are your works, your deeds. Also deine Hände, das sind deine Werke, deine Taten. And what does Sister White say? How do you demonstrate what heart you have? Und was sagt Ellen White? Wie demonstrierst du, was für ein Herz du hast? The words and actions. Yes, Sister White says, by their action, they demonstrate that they have a heart of a dragon. Ellen White sagt, dass durch den Taten, die demonstrieren, dass sie das Herz einen Drach, eines Drachens haben. So when you have a dirty heart, you have dirty hands, right? Also, wenn du ein dreckiges Herz hast, dann hast du auch dreckige Hände. Uh, and which parable did we look at yesterday that explains this? Und welche Gleichnis haben wir gestern angeschaut, die das um, verdeutlicht? Yes. Amen. Right? Also, so, dass die Pharisäer haben geklagt, dass die Jungen deren Händen vor dem Essen nicht gewaschen haben. Um, because they only understood the literal, but Jesus pointed to them that they actually were the ones that with dirty hands. Then the Pharisees have nur das buchstäbliche des Wortes verstanden, aber Jesus hat sie gelehrt, dass letztendlich sie sind diejenigen mit den schmutzigen Händen, also dreckige Herzen. So it was cleansing the hands, but the cleansing of the feet. What is this again? Also, das war die Reinigung des Herzens, der die Händen. Aber was war das Waschen? Der Füße nochmal. Yes, right. Also das Evangelium predigt. So the foot washing was also, this is why it says a higher cleansing to cleanse also the heart. Ellen White sagt auch, dass die Füßwaschung diese höhere Bildung ist, die das Herzen reinigt. Höhere Reinigung, higher cleansing. Höhere, höhere Reinigung des Reinigen des Herzens. So it's Hands and feet is both pointing to the heart, but one is illustrating the action, and the other one is illustrating basically the, the message you bear, the work you do for God. Okay. Also, die Hände und Füße waschen, beide deuten auf das Reinigen des Herzens zu, aber der eine, die Händen, weisen auf deine Taten, 
und die Füße die Botschaft, die du trägst. Okay. So, now I want to look at some further points. Okay. So, jetzt ein paar weitere Punkte schauen wir an. So, let's go uh, to Hebrews. And we saw, right, that the law, for instance, Josiah, right? Josiah, when he repaired the temple, what did he find? As Josiah den Tempel wieder aufrichtete, was hat er gefunden? He found the law, right? Er hat das Buch des Gesetzes gefunden. So you must start here looking into this law in order to cleanse your hand and your feet, right? So du musst hier... <coughs> Du musst hier anfangen, in diesen Gesetz hineinzuschauen, um deine Hände und Füße zu reinigen. Because uh, when we remind ourselves, let's go quickly to Romans 7. So, zur Erinnerung gehen wir schnell zu Römer Kapitel 7. Was, was 13. Römer 7, Vers 13. And, um, Louis, you want to read this for us, please? For a sin that which is good may death unto me, God forbid. But sin that is might appear sin, working death in me by death which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. Yes. Okay, so when the commandment or the law comes, what happens to sin? Also wenn der Gebot oder das Gesetz kommt, was geschieht mit der Sünde? Sin. Also es ist sinful. Yes, it's now made exceeding sinful. Right? Also es ist äußerst sündhaftig äh, gemacht. So therefore, yeah, the Lord now gives us the law that we can look into this in order to see that we have dirty hands and dirty feet. So the Herr gibt uns diese Gesetz, so dass wir da hineinschauen können, um festzustellen, dass wir tatsächlich schmutzige Hände und schmutzige Füßen haben. Okay, now let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. So jetzt gehen wir zu Hebräer 12. In verse 1. In Vers 1. Hebräer 12 in Vers 1. Okay, and David, you want to read this first bit? Yes. Okay, so here we see what compasses us about. So what's um gibt uns? This cloud of witnesses, right? These angels. These angels. Okay. So, and therefore, because these angels are present and they witness everything we do. Und weil gerade gerade weil diese Engel vorhanden sind und die bezeugen alles was wir tun. What does Paul say what should we do? Was sagt Paulus, was sollten wir tun? Ja, der ist seit every weight, right? Also legt jeder Gewicht ab. So what does this represent? Er stellt das da. Okay, let's go now to the live stream, there's a quote. So, lasst uns in den Livestream-Gruppe gehen, da gibt es ein Zitat. Okay, das ist der erste Quote. Das erste Zitat. Und remember, right, Ezekiel, in Ezekiel Chapter 1, right, he saw that this, this, on the fifth day of the fourth month, this cloud came. Right out of the north. Ezekiel in Ezekiel Kapitel 1, am fünften Tag des vierten Monats, er hat gesehen diese Wolke, der aus dem Norden herkam. So this cloud of witnesses comes now. So diese Wolke von Zeugen kommt jetzt hier an. Uh, and it says that we therefore should lay aside every weight. Und es sagt, deswegen sollten wir jedes Gewicht ablegen. Okay, now let's read what Sister White says, what this is. So lasst uns lesen, was Ellen White dazu sagt. Was das sagt. So she quotes Hebrews 12, verse 1. Sie zitiert vorweg Hebräer 12, 1. And then she says, the weights that are here referred to are the evil habits and practices we have formed by following our own natural dispositions. Alright? So, 
What are we therefore to do in this time here, brothers and sisters? So was sollten wir denn deswegen in diese Zeit tun, liebe Geschwister? Lay aside your evil practices and habits. Wir sollen weglegen unsere böse ähm, Getue und ähm, Neigungen. Gewohnheiten. Äh, Gewohnheiten, danke. So, what, what other word describes this? So, was für ein anderes Wort beschreibt das? Reformation. Yes, it's the Reformation. Also okay. eine Reformation. So, and what did Jesaiah do? Und was hat äh, König Jesaja getan? About reformation. Yes, he brought about King Josiah. He brought about a reformation. So right? König Josiah hat eine Reformation im Lande gebracht. Yes. Amen. So, and this is the work we need to do, brothers. Und das ist das Werk, die wir tun müssen, liebe Geschwister. Uh, we must now look into this this labor. Wir müssen in diese Waschbecken hineinschauen. And see our evil. Habits and practices. Okay. Und unsere böse Gewohnheiten und ähm, Getue. Practices. Uh, no, practices, um, Taten. Taten. Yeah. Unsere böse Gewohnheiten und Taten sollten wir da sehen. Okay. So, this is what the gospel is about, all about, right? Und darüber handelt das Evangelium. The Lord wants to rule your life from the beginning when you wake up in the morning. Der Herr möchte dein Leben regieren von dem Moment, wo du in den Morgen aufwachst. Until the very end when you go to sleep. Bis zum Ende des Tages, wo du einschläfst. And every habit you have need to be in accordance with this law. Und jede Gewohnheit, die du hast, muss in Übereinstimmung mit diesem Gesetz sein. And this is what the Lord really wants to get into our minds now. Und das ist das, was der Herr tatsächlich in unserem Gedanken oder in unserem Herzen hineinbringen möchte. Because without this reformation taking place in your life now, you will never receive the letter in. Denn ohne diese Reformation in unserem Leben in dieser Zeit werden wir hier niemals das Spätregen erhalten. Können. Okay, it's about your habits, your lifestyle. Es handelt sich alles über deine Gewohnheiten, dein Lebensstil. Okay, and this is the most difficult part. In, obviously in our lives, right? Und das ist das schwierigste Teil in unserem Leben gerade. Uh, so, to change your lifestyle according to God's word. Um dein Lebensstil gemäß Gottes Wort zu verändern. Okay, so, yeah, but these cloud of witnesses, they are not there only to witness all, all your habits. Aber diese Wolke von Zeugen, sie sind nicht nur da, all deine Gewohnheiten zu bezeugen. But to bring you the rain also right aber die sind auch da um dich das regen zu bringen in order to change your habits so dass du deine gewohnheiten verändern kannst yes. also du von dir selbst kannst gar nichts reinigen es ist das wort die uns reinigt yeah, so washing by the water of the word right? es ist das waschen durch das wasserbad des wortes And therefore the only chance how you can be reformed in here is You must look into this law. So okay. der einzige Chance, die wir in diese Zeit haben, um diese Reformation zu haben, ist, dass wir dieses Gesetz anschauen. Uh, and by this, beholding the exceeding sinfulness of your false habits. Okay. Und indem, dass wir die äußerst Sündhaftigkeit unsere falsche Gewohnheiten oder böse Gewohnheiten sehen. Okay. And, and then the Lord can change you. Und dann kann der Herr dich verändern. Okay, so now let's look at this point a little bit more. Okay. So, lasst uns diesen Punkt ein bisschen näher betrachten. This about these weights. Über diese Gewichte. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Leviticus 19. Lasst uns zum dritten Buch Mose 19 gehen. And the weights are the false habits. Diese Gewichte, die wir gesehen haben, sind diese falschen Gewohnheiten. So Leviticus 19. Dritte Buch Mose 19. Let's read verse 36. Und lesen Vers 36. Okay. Um, do you want to read this first, please? Just the just way, the just effort, and the just sin shall ye have. I am the Lord. Yes. Okay, we need we need just balances, just weights, a just ether and a just hin. So, Vers 36, diese, wir brauchen gerechte, diese vier Sachen. 
Okay, so when we need to have just weights, what do we need to have? So when we have rechte Gewichte, haben, what must we have? Greatest weight. Yes. To set aside every weight. Yes, we need to have just habits, right? We must have rechte Gewohnheiten. Haben. So this is what the Lord requires of us. Das ist das, was der Herr von uns verlangt. Yeah. But also just balances. Aber auch äh, gerechte Wagen oder Gewichte. Okay. Wieder. So, what are these balances? Was sind diese Wagen? Uh, let's go to Daniel chapter 5. Let's go to Daniel chapter 5. And keep your finger in Leviticus 19, we will come back. Then halte den Platz hier in dritte Buch Mose 19. Wir kommen darauf zurück. Wo ist Daniel? 5. Daniel 5. Was ist jetzt? And let's read verse... Uh, 27. Und wir lesen Vers 27. Because the finger wrote Mene Mene Tikel Ufasim. Right? Ja, den Finger Gottes, der schrieb auf den Wand Mene Mene Tikel Ufasim. And Tikel means in Und Vers 27. Vers 27 heißt, Thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. Okay. So what does the balance Represent. Yes, judgment. Okay. This is Gericht. So when you need to have just weights, you need to have just habits, but the just balance represents your judgment, right? Your decision making process. Also when you okay. gerechte Gewichte hast, also das sind gerechte Gewohnheiten, aber diese gerechte Waagschalen, das heißt gerechte um, Urteilsvermögen. Urteilsvermögen, danke. Also zwischen richtig und falsch. Gesundheit. Okay. Yeah. So, and when we go now to Ezra. Und wenn wir jetzt zu das Buch Ezra. Chapter 8. Gehen, Kapitel 8. Ezra 8. And this is when Ezra came out of Babylon. Das markiert, wo Ezra aus Babylon herauskam. And um, let's read verse 30. 13? No, th 30. Also, lasst uns Vers 30 lesen. And then also verse 33. 30 und danach 33. It says, So took the priests and the Levites the weight of the silver and the gold and the vessels to bring them to Jerusalem unto the house of God. Okay, so they they weighed the weighted. How do you say? Weight. Weight. Okay, weight. <laughs> okay. Uh, the silver and the gold here. Right? Also, they have the silver and gold um, abgemessen or abgewogen. Uh, in order to bring it then to the house of God in Jerusalem. So that they to the house of God in Jerusalem. And now in verse 33, they are already. Or well, let's read verse 32 to 33. Die Verse 32 und 33 jetzt. It says, And we came to Jerusalem and abode there three days. Now on the fourth day was the silver and the gold and the vessels weighed in the house of our God by the hand of Merimoth, the son of Uriah, the priest. So what happened now with the gold and the silver? So was geschah hier mit das Gold und Silber? That was, was weighed. Es war okay. abgewogen. So, there was a judgment based upon the weight of the gold and the silver. Okay. Das war ein Gericht basierend auf der Gewicht von Gold und Silber. So, therefore, what is being judged here? Deswegen, was wird hier äh, gerichtet? Because who is the gold and the silver? Denn wer ist das Gold und das Silber? According to Malachi chapter 3, right, he says, I will purify you as gold and silver in this furnace. Right? Das ist Gottes Feuer. Also Malachi 3 sagt, ich werde dich um, reinigen wie Gold im Feuer. Okay, so, and therefore what, what is taken into the judgment here? So, was ist hier im Gericht genommen? Yes, and, and it, it's, it is looked at how much it was weighed, right? Und danach würde verurteilt, wie viel es gemessen hat. So, it's basically, uh, your habits are taken now into consideration. So, hier deine Gewohnheiten werden in Betracht gezogen. Yeah. So, this is what we need to understand, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. 
we are in a sense investigated at the moment already. Das ist das, was wir jetzt verstehen müssen, liebe Geschwister. Wir sind jetzt in dieser Zeit in eine Untersuchung. Uh, let's just read this quote and um, then we can come also to a close. Lass uns diesen Zitat lesen. Das kommt gleich in den Neustrich. It's a quote we are familiar with, I think. Und das ist wieder ein Zitat, mit dem wir vertraut sind. Says, the grand judgment is taking place and has been going on for some time. Now the Lord says, measure the temple and the worshippers thereof. Remember when you are walking the street, streets about your business, God is measuring you. Language, when you are, sorry, there's only the German here. I don't think the English. No. Is there? Is there? Yes. Oh. Measuring the church. Yes. So, ah, sorry. remember when you are walking the streets about your business, God is measuring you. When you are attending your household duties, when you engage in conversation, God is measuring you. Remember that your words and actions are being daguerreotyped, photographed in the books of heaven, as the face is reproduced by the artist on the polished plate. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, all the day along, these clouds of witnesses are around us. So den ganzen Tag lang diese uh, diese Wolke von Zeugen sind um uns her. Yeah, and they they always note down everything we do, we say, what are our habits. Und die schreiben nieder die ganze Zeit, was wir sagen, was wir tun, was unsere Gewohnheiten sind. And they they look at uh, whether we wait correctly or not. Okay. Und sie schauen, ob wir nun mal richtig abgewogen sind oder nicht. And if, if so, then we can be vessels in the Lord's temple. If not, uh, we are cast out. Und wenn ja, dann können wir Gefäße im Tempel des Herrn werden. Aber wenn nicht, dann werden wir hinausgestoßen. So, uh, these are very uh, important thoughts that we keep then in our minds throughout the day. So, das sind sehr wichtige Gedanken, die wir sie immer fortwährend in unserem Gedanken halten während des Tages. Because uh, maybe let's go to this final Bible verse. Let's go to John chapter 20. Lass uns zu diesem letzten Bibelvers gehen, Johannes 20. Jesus rebuked Thomas for doubting that he was resurrected. Und hier tadelt Jesus den Thomas, weil er daran gezweifelt hat, dass Jesus auferstanden ist. And Thomas says, I want to see him first before I can believe it. Thomas hat gesagt, ich will ihn zuerst sehen, noch bevor ich daran glaube. No, let's read verse 29. Aber jetzt Vers 29. It says, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So what is our, always our problem? So what is our problem? We don't see by faith. We try to we see that you know, it's a lack of belief in the, in the scripture. Because it says, oh fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets say. Yes. We don't see it through faith. So basically, uh, only because we don't see the angels around us as a cloud of witnesses doesn't mean that they're not there. Okay. Nur weil wir diese Wolke von Engeln um uns herum haben als äh, eine Wolke von Zeugen nicht sehen können, heißt längst nicht, dass sie nicht da sind. Yeah. And Sister White says, uh, we would be ashamed if uh, we really would realize that the angels are right next to us. 
So Ellen White sagt, dass wir uns beschämen werden, wenn wir tatsächlich wahrnehmen werden, dass diese Engel genau um uns her sind. Yeah. Okay. And that they witness all our things that we do either in secret or even in public. Und die bezeugen alles, was wir tun, ins Geheim oder sogar in der Öffentlichkeit. Okay. So, this uh, uh, important work uh, to get our hands and feet cleansed now. So, das ist eine wichtige Werk, dass wir in diese Zeit unsere Händen und Füßen reinbekommen. And that we lay aside every weight, you know, all these evil habits and practices that we have. Und dass wir all diese Gewichte ablegen, all diese böse Taten und Gewohnheiten, die but, wir haben. But again, these clouds, they not come only to witness against us, but to also bring us the, the remedy, the rain, the oil. Right? Aber wieder einmal, diese Wolken der Zeugen, diese Engel, die sind nicht nur gekommen, um uns zu, bezeugen, um zu bezeugen, was wir tun, sondern die sind auch da, um uns die Lösung, das Regen zu bringen. So, therefore, there's always hope for us. So, es gibt immer Hoffnung für uns. But we need to make this reformation here. Yeah. Aber wir müssen diese Reformationen, diese Reformation haben. Okay, so I hope that uh, from now on we see more the things around us by faith and not by sight alone. Okay. So, ich hoffe, dass wir jetzt die Dinge um uns herum mehr durch Glaube sehen und nicht durch Sicht allein. Amen. Amen. Then let's cross uh, the prayer. Dann lasst uns mit unserer Gebetsstunde abschließen.